mindless crafting and and bill believe it or not <laughs> uh, you better believe it right look y'all i got my um my tea and i'm ready to go i'm gonna make some owl cards we didn't get a chance to do um any of them yesterday because we were busy making cards with the uh the newest stamp set so the owl owl love digi stamp we're gonna do some cards with that but the cards that I did yesterday were with this stamp set, um, the beauty in everything. So happy Saturday to all of you. I'm glad that you can uh, join us. So we're going to see who's in the craft room. Let me show you the cards we made yesterday. I did go back and add a few things to them. How adorable is this? So this one right here, this stamp set. I used with this and I think this came out adorable. I went ahead and added some stickles onto these. So let me see if y'all can really see that. Let's see. See those stickles. Look how it makes the card really pop. Look at that. Hey Lisa, how are you? And here's the other one. So adding the stickles really does something to it. Look at that. Look at all the different colors. So nice and bright and cheerful and spring-like. But these can actually be cards for whatever occasion. Just because, right? I'm glad you're doing well. I'm afraid to pronounce your last name. I might get it wrong, Lisa. Lisa P Penelver. <laughs> Don't be messing up Lisa's name. Ah. <laughs> uh. Hey, Britt, Deb Couture, y'all are back again. I thought y'all had enough of us after yesterday. So yeah, I went back and just added a few little things to these, a couple more gems, um, little pearls, the little pearls that y'all like. See that? Look at the texture on that. Once you add the, um, I just had fun adding more stuff to it. After the live went off, you would, th you would think that I had enough. Because we were on for what, babe, two, three hours almost yes, yesterday? Um, yeah. So you would think I would have had enough. I sat here and still ended up doing more stuff actually later on that evening. Because I had to make the mac and cheese for my brother-in-law. I had to help him eat it. And Bill had to help him eat it, yeah. I subscribed and checked out the Quilting Marine. Thank you, Angie. She has Army Fam, but I'm going to share. Thank you. Yep, so these, look how beautiful and bright those came out. Just showing y'all what I went back in and did with the stickles. So all of these made yesterday during the live, and then I just played around with them and added stickles. So I just wanted to show y'all. Sending sunshine from Florida. Well, thank you for sending us some... I was going to say shunshine. Shunshine. Thanks for the shunshine. <laughs> you are my sun, sun. I can't you say You are my it. shunshine. Shunshine. <laughs> my only son, shunshine. He acting up, y'all. Okay, let me be it, good. It's Saturday. He Grand acting up. Y'all not. Y'all stop laughing. Y'all stop that laughing already. Be good. <laughs> oh, here's one other. Here's one I, I did last night, too. Just thought I'd take some of the scraps. And isn't that adorable? Look at that, y'all. Patty Munger says she just finished watching the accordion card. Oh, play. yes, yes, yes. That accordion card. Uh, this is, uh, hopefully Chelsea's not watching. But um, yes, that accordion card tutorial was live. Uh, it actually went live today, this morning. KG Designs. What KG Designs is talking about? She said Bill only acts up on Saturday. Mm, no. <laughs> Solomon. Not oh, just man. on Saturday. Elder Dean Brock Harris, we are so sorry. Our prayers go with you. She says she's trying to get some joy. Her brother passed this morning. Oh. Yeah, that's... Yes. Yeah. That's a tough one. Oh, boy. Yeah, we're set. Our hearts go out to you. 
We're praying for you. We'll keep you in our prayers. Mm. I'm saying life, y'all. You know? Hold up. Vicki Jensen says it's sunshine here, but I woke up to... She says one and a half of snow. I'm hoping it's one and a half inches and not one and a half feet. Did I get this in a knot? I did something here, y'all. Hi, Britt Ingdahl Stinson. Kathleen Jones. Oh, here. This is what... This is the tutorial that was released. The accordion card. And y'all have been posting them in the group, too, so... Just wanted to show y'all that. This video is up. Um, it's actually about 40... About 45 minutes. So... I take you step by step through it in case you didn't get it on that other live. So it's just a straight tutorial. This is my daughter's birthday card. And I'm going to find some pictures and add pictures in there. It's all um, be fun. Now, I'm going to probably end up making this particular statement I'm about to make several times during the, this particular live in case someone misses it. Since we're talking about digital stamps, uh, I implore you to watch those of you that aren't familiar with how to work them, to watch our playlist on how to how to download and manipulate digital images. I'm going to put the link up here in just a moment. And I'll put it in after. Yeah, because I'm after getting a few emails from people who say they're having problems with this. But yeah, it's once you work it out and that light switch goes on, you'll be like, oh my goodness, I cannot believe it. Right, and if not our, ours, just Google it. Well, put into YouTube how to insert uh, digital images, you know, how yeah. to download them and insert them into whatever you're going to use on this pages, Google Docs, uh, whatever have you. This is very important. I have to say this. So, oh, Kathleen, you're going to make one of those? The, the, um, the accordion card, yes. Do it. I would love to see your creation. And it's a great way to use up scraps. Okay, so this cutie little card here I made. I'm going to make, I'm going to show you how easy it is to make this. But how adorable is this? I had so much fun making this. And then I used my glossy accents for the little, look at that. Can you see the glossiness on there? right on there how cute and i thought this was cute and i used another stamp set along with this so let's go ahead and get started with this so i started out having um sizing it and that's the nice thing about your digitals is that you can resize it right so i resized it to that size and i'm just gonna cut this out and when I cut, this is what I do. Like if I have a lot of images on one thing and I want to get a straight line, sometimes I use the scissors. Sometimes. Sometimes I'll use the scissors, but if not, I can just cut this out. Let me just move this out the way. Cut that out. So I'm going to make a card similar to that. It won't be exact, but it's okay. I don't know if any of you do the same thing when you're cutting your cards out or cutting up your cards. Sometimes I do this. Let's see. I got to cut this up. I still got to end up cutting it, right? But sometimes you want to get a straight, straight line on there. I'm pretty confident doing this, but you just never know sometimes. Okay, so let's go ahead and we got to color this in. I'm going to take off that top edge because it's just a little bit. Okay, I just put crooked. the link up and take you to that playlist. Okay, so that's just a little bit crooked, so I'm just going to. Cindy I'm going to cut a little bit of this off, too, on the side, so it's somewhat centered. Cindy W. is multitasking, Tracy. She's watching the live on TV, but she texts on her phone. What? Cindy, you're doing all kinds of stuff. Cindy, 
has the method. We, we can do that, okay? Whatever it takes. Okay? Multitasking is our superpower. Okay, so I'm just going to cut this so that it can be a card that opens. Um, I'm going to landscape that. Card that opens Roberta this Wilson. way, maybe. We'll see. Something like it. Sometimes I don't make the exact same card. I don't know if y'all are like that. Where you just... <laughs> I mean, sometimes I'll make the exact one, but it's times where I'm just, it, It's a struggle for me to make the exact same card each time. Tracy, Roberta Wilson says, Hello, hello everyone. Sorry I haven't been on much. I've been sick. I had COVID, but I'm fine now. Oh, so glad that you're feeling I'm better. I'm so glad also, Roberta. So glad you're feeling better. Even though I cut this, you know what? I want to use this one, actually. Because I'm going to do this a little bit different than the other one. Margie. So let's see what we got here. I'm going to cut a little bit more off of here, the top there. And then I'm going to start coloring that in. And use it with one of the other stamp sets. Linda Huffman also watches on TV, but texts on her iPad. Oh, does she? <laughs> ah. So many of you were talking about how you absolutely love, love, love owls. So I'm so glad to hear that. Um, Y'all have been telling us how much you love owls, too. So I'm going to use my um, Adaxi markers. My owl. My um. Marlene alcohol. Watts. These are alcohol markers. Marlene Watts says, I just got finished watching your tutorial. Which one, Marlene? The one on manipulating digital images? And no, she's she was she's talking about the accordion. Oh, card. the accordion. Okay. Yeah, that was released this morning. Oh. You remember? Yes, yeah, right. Okay. <laughs> he forgot that quick, y'all. You're welcome, Priscilla Reed. These are so easy to color in. Just color any color you right? want. Huh? Col exactly. You don't have to, um, you could say, hey, I'm just going to go ahead and color it. Whatever color I, my heart desires. Let's get some gray up in here. I'm glad that y'all are here. Y'all were happy about uh, me coming on on a Saturday um with y'all so that's good i know some of you may not be able to watch us during the week and sometimes it's good to do something different right it hopefully y'all went and got your groceries and stuff and you loaded up for the weekend sometimes you had a thing of anything different is good Ann Nugent says she has the perfect idea for the owls on the seesaw. Oh, nice. It's always good to see what ideas y'all come up with. Because I could come up with some ideas, but then when I see what y'all create, I'm like, oh, what a good idea. Hi, Carrie Woods. I haven't seen you around for a second. She says, yay, a Carrie's... time that I can make it to a live. Yeah, Carrie said she was uh, going to come on today. And um, I'm so glad that she's here. And Car Carrie's order went out this morning. Carrie, your order's on the way. Oh, Priscilla Reed says, I, I bought the glossy accents. Do you just put it over any ink section? Yeah, I just, I just put it, don't shake it. Whatever you do, do not shake that bottle, okay? This does not need to be shaked. Shaked, shooken, <laughs> shook. <laughs> well, whatever, it don't need to have any of that. It's any extreme right. violent motion applied No to shaking, it. okay? Just squeeze it out of the top. I would try it on some paper first see, to see the consistency because you don't want a lot of bubbles in it. So you can't really see it, but this has some bubbles in there. But I'm going to show you how I apply it. So we'll 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 get to that part too. Hi, Sandra Arrington. Don't shook it. <laughs> Amanda says, hey, y'all, who, who loves you? Oh, we do. Who gives a hoot? Exactly. We do. 
Cardi Girl says, good morning from 10 minutes on the treadmill. Oh, wow. I spent 10 good minutes morning. too, Cardi, How looking at it. <laughs> uh, hang, use it as a hanger for your jacket, right? I tell you what, one of the best pieces of equipment that I ever had, y'all remember that Chuck Norris board thing that you pull? Oh, in? the slanted board? Yes, you pull it. That was one of the best things I ever got to hang my clothes on, okay? <laughs> My clothes have never dried better with that device. That is hilarious. <laughs> That's funny. Georgiana Frank says she still has a total gym. We have done so many different workouts. We did the um, what's his name, Billy Blanks. Oh my God, Billy Blanks would give you a. And then curtain. we did um, uh, what was Shalene. oh Shalene. Shalene? Oh my goodness, I loved her Turbo Jam workout. I was laughing at Tracy. And I said, um, look at Tracy doing this lady. When I first met you, you remember I was doing the the um, I was doing Shalene like almost twice a day. And Tracy says, "Try it," and it was like. It was like 40 minutes, I think, the Turbo said, Jam. I said, she ain't even doing nothing. And I tried that <laughs> thing, man. I was so tired. I didn't know. I couldn't even finish it the first time. He was like, he's like, oh, that's just a lot of dancing. I, I was I used to a I can't do that. Just oh. weights. Yeah, Mr. Macho told me, oh, I can't do that one. It's just like, I just can't. She move around too much for me. Hold up. When he finished that workout, he was like, Bill was sweating, okay? I had a whole other respect for it. I was like, okay, let's go ahead on the trail now. <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, my God, but the one that really killed us was, uh, what's that guy's name? Um, what, uh, yes. Sean T. In Sean Insanity. T. In the he, Insanity workout. He really named that thing appropriately. Insanity? But we did get through that first, what was it? Was Ooh. it the 45 days? I tell you what. What was it, 30 days? I think it was 30-day increments. No, 60. 90. Was it? 60, one of them. I can't remember. That workout, boy. And then we would do it in the morning, and then I would go to work. I was like, woo. I remember the first time we did it, he he, he did this one thing, and it lasted about 15 minutes. And I thought that was the workout. He says, now that we warmed up. I said, well, now that we warmed up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, that wasn't the workout? We struggled. But then when we started getting into that, like, two-week area, something happened. And we saw the transformation, didn't we? <coughs> oh, yeah. We started to see, really see the transformation. Kathleen German has the ultimate. She says, I have the sidewalk. Okay. <laughs> exactly. Many of you are familiar with that, but it works just fine for her. Okay? Exactly. Thank you, Shirley McNeely. Shirley says, I think you folks are so much fun and very talented. Oh, thank you. I'm with you. Look, I'm with you now, Kathleen. Okay, let me get a sidewalk somewhere. Okay. Loaded Coco says, my plans for the day are sewing aprons and releasing this cookbook. You guys help me keep going when Lulu is with her dad. Oh, that's so sweet. You know, one thing about having kids, sometimes you say, wow, they just be quiet. Oh, my goodness. But when they leave and go somewhere, the silence is almost deafening. like that <laughs> your girl trey says have you heard of extreme feel his workouts with the step are very extreme extreme phil his name is he on hard. is he on youtube i mean i've been looking at some um look i said looking at some workout y'all just go through like the workout playlist and see and look at the workouts <laughs> Not necessarily do that. I, that's one of my just, hobbies. But just look at them. Hold on, I saw this one workout on Amazon. It was called, it was a good one. It was called the Convict Workout. Well, not that I have any plans of going there or anything. But, <laughs> no, I'm just saying it was called the Convict Workout. It was phenomenal. Did you ever do it? No, it was good to look at. <laughs> <laughs> I said to myself, if I ever start to work out, that would probably be a good one to try. Mm. Put it on the list of the other 500 that I've seen. (laughs) 
um, Zumba is a good one too because the music gets you going and stuff, but you will work up a sweat. Linda Huffman says, not for me. I left all kids behind. I'm a retired teacher. Well, congratulations. <laughs> I'm 30 and do elderly warm-ups. That is hilarious. So, Linda, how many years did you teach? What grade? Let's see. <laughs> Look, Mickey, that is hilarious. She said <laughs> my workout is just getting out of my you chair. You know what? Okay. As funny as that sound, sometimes that's hey, a good workout right there. I'm not saying a thing. <laughs> Bill, Bill, he'll get up. And sometimes me and Ariel will be like, oh, my goodness. Are you okay? My goodness, Linda Huffman taught 37 years wow. at the elementary school level. Awesome. Linda, let me ask you a question. Did you teach? I actually ask my mother this question all the time. Did you teach 37 years or did you teach one year 37 times? I know what she's going to do. The answer is going to be, my mother used to say, please, I talk every bit of 37 years. Thank you so much for teaching the kids, okay? If you, if you taught 37 years, you entered the profession at a time when to do so was actually a calling. You didn't just teach because you say, I'm going to teach because of the money. You taught because this is what you I think for most. I think for day. most teachers, that is it. They, they, so they teach because it's their calling and they love it. They want to make an impression, an impact on... Uh, they feel like they can't. This is what they have to do. Yep. My fifth grade teacher, Miss Merrill. Hey, Arabella. She Hi, said, Nadine "What Connors. I taught thirty-seven. What I taught thirty-seven years." <laughs> she said, what? She, what? She I taught thirty-seven years, years. <laughs> baby. Okay. Don't play with me. Every yeah, year must be different. Exactly, Vicky, because you have different kids. Yeah, Naomi, I had no idea. Naomi Custodio Tracy is a retired elementary teacher. I know, teacher. I know. For 30 years, Naomi, I did not know that. Shout out to the teachers, okay? Yeah, shout out to all of you teachers in here. I'm going to tell you something. I, I've always felt that te the teaching profession is the most underpaid profession out there. I personally think that you should be paid probably three times the amount. Yeah. Because you're taking the most precious yes, thing, treasures you have, our children, and you're actually transforming them, them into something that can impact the world. And do you just want to just pay people hardly nothing to, to do that? Just doesn't make yep, sense to me. Teachers are valuable. Yes. I had the honor of of having lots of teachers as friends during my um yes. my Stay library in days. Yes, teachers are awesome. Okay, I talked to so many teachers who their what they were paid was so little that they were actually using their money to buy oh, yes. supplies. To Librarians too. Yep, we assignments do assignments for the yep. kids. They were using their own money, own funds, you know. That had to be a calling. I'm sorry. Because the average person would say, what? If you're not going to give me the money. Well, teachers aren't average, so that's I why. Know. <laughs> you know? You know what Linda, Linda says? No, I entered the profession when, I, when you could spank naughty children. You know, you took a spanking and the rest would all behave. Linda, I remember that. I've gotten paddled. My mother was a teacher. And, we didn't uh, have that at our school. Please. At one point, she was a principal, but she enjoyed teaching more so. My mother came up to my school and paddled me in front of the class one time. Mm. All it took was that one time in the seventh grade. Seventh grade? I was oh, in the boy. seventh you didn't, grade. You didn't know better in seventh grade? Tracy. The pay is even worse in retirement. Oh, wow, Linda. Mm, mm, mm. 
Oh, a Angel Loves DMB says, I remember my librarian too, Mrs. Cook. My favorite person Aww. at school, in high school, was my librarian. I loved her. She was just so incredible. Well, no wonder you married a librarian. You know what I'm saying? Now, she was great. She all, she knew the kind of books that I liked. She would always steer me. That's what librarians do, babe. That's what we do. Hold up. I was I was in love with the, with the library back in the days of microfiche, okay? Yep. I remember that. Please. See, Look, I was a librarian when they first brought the internet to tell us, like, <laughs> you know, like, email just started, and it was like, huh? Wait a minute. We're doing what with this? And then you're like, when they took the card catalog away, I was like, wow. A lot of librarians left the field because they were like, I, I, they just couldn't handle the technology part of it. I was actually shocked when I met Tracy because she completely transformed my understanding of what an actual librarian was. I just thought it was a person you you got a book, you walked up to the line and checked the book and, out. And you and said, shh. And you right. walk off into the sunset. <laughs> But when I met Tracy and I saw the, the absolute depth and knowledge of all these vast resources and how she could dig and recommend and find and classes and this, it was absolutely flooring. And I thought to myself, library systems do not do enough to expose uh, the citizenry to this plethora of, of, of resources. I just felt like that. You know, I was well, floored. I really was. We are a wealth of information. Dewey Decimal System. We got email in high school. <laughs> yes, the Dewey Decimal System stopped librarians from knowing where to find the books without looking it up. So if you were a librarian, and when I was in graduate school, we learned like the Dewey Decimal System and the science behind it. And... Um, and so that's one of the things when you get in your master's degree was to break down the Dewey Decimal System and know which, what book, all those numbers meant something, basically. So, yeah. The France, this is interesting. La France says, I remember when our school got a computer and it was locked away and we could only look at it through a glass window due to the <laughs> fact that it was so expensive. Ain't that so I about? seen something like that. When it's, uh, it was a... Uh, like a elementary school or something, they got some computer systems and they wouldn't let the kids or anyone touch them. They just kind of sat there, you know? You see how easy that was to color? It was quite easy to color that. I, I love put, that card. I'm just going to put a line. Out. It looks I'm, so cute. Thanks, babe. Now I'm just going to do something else. I'm going to put a line around it to give it a little frame, right? Hi, Candace. Hold up, I gotta say this real quick. Candace, I sent you a new email about the digital aisles, and I sent you the actual zip file directly. So you should be able to down to uh once it's on your computer, you can do it until in perpetuity. If you have any problems, let me know. But yeah, I sent it to you again. So check your check your mail and let me know. If you have any problems, just you can hit me up at admin at minuscrafting.com. So I'm just making this line here just because. Just because, right? Tracy, why are you making a line? Just because. Because I can. <laughs> because, 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 because. Margie, <laughs> I remember that. Margie Ryan says, I did key punch. But oh computers my were goodness. huge, and they had to keep the rooms cold. I remember in Mich oh, I went to Michigan State, and I had to take a class where where we had to prepare the cards for this huge mainframe. That was in one thing, one period, anything wrong, and the whole program was toast. Mm. So you wow. have all these cards, about nine hundred cards, in one period. So we're going to put this on here. 
and I need an I need a sentiment. Let's see. I got a couple of I'm gonna use this one right here. I'll use this sentiment, change it up a little bit. Well, this is really gonna show you age. Guess who loves you? How many of you use an abacus or a slide rule? Tracy, I think you didn't get a chance to use a slide rule, did you? Uh, yeah, I think it discontinued just after. By the time you came through, I don't think they had it. No, I'm not that far behind you. Right, four years. It was a big difference. In four years, they got rid the of The amount of stuff. Mm hmm I remember learning the Dewey Decimal System in middle school. I had to take my son to the library when he was in elementary school and nothing was like I knew. <laughs> I know, right? Back in the day. Yeah. You actually got it, Candace. If you have any problems, just let me know. The only thing was that when the system went down, no one knew how to find a book. The newer librarians didn't know how to find a book, so they were coming to me to ask me where I, they were like, well, how do you know the Dewey Decimal System? I'm saying, so I told them, look, before computers. There was this thing called the mind. Right. <laughs> it's just like, <laughs> it's just like phone numbers. Like I only know Bill's phone number, my sister's number. And yours. And possibly mine. <laughs> but I don't even know the kids. Most of us knew about two or 300 phone numbers off the top of our head growing up. Now, when you tell me a phone number, you have to say it in sections. 770. Okay, that's let that me get that in my head. 770. Okay, <laughs> 207. 206. Okay, <laughs> five, you know, I can't hear the whole number like I used to could hear it. Exactly. Matter of fact, now when they say 770, as they go to the next three, 770 just disappears out of my mind. <laughs> <laughs> Marlene Watts says, who took shorthand in school? I did. I sure did. <clears throat> I think one of the best I thought classes. it was the I was like, wow, that was fast. Like you thought you you knew you were doing something. Now our shorthand is using the phone, dragging our fingers across. Shorthand is L O L, right? The letters <laughs> to, to type. Not really typing, but y'all know what I'm talking about. Hold up, there are kids right now who can't look things up in a dictionary because they don't understand alphabetical order. Did you know that, Trace? Bill, you're talking to a librarian, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, really? I'm like, you, you can't look this well, up? Well, no, just the basic encyclopedia, knowing that you look up someone's last name first, you know? There are kids right now that are in high school that cannot use a watch to tell time yeah, unless I had that it's before. digital. Had that. How about that? Yeah. They'll say they would say, I don't know how to tell that kind of time. That kind of time. Like, huh? Like, what other time is there? I don't know how to tell that kind of time. Okay, I'm gonna use this uh L O V E from the um Valentine Valentine's Day stamp set. So I'm going to stamp this out, too. Oh, I heard that this. They can't. Some kids don't write in. Cur they don't do cursive, cursive anymore. They don't even print. Because cursive is just beautiful. Tracy, there are kids right now who don't even know how to hold a pencil because all they do is use their phones and computers. No way, babe. I'm telling you. I just loaded all of these onto the block. It doesn't really matter because I'm going to cut them out. So I just load them right up on the block there. Now I'm going to color coordinate this. Zelma Kennedy, I'm like you. Zelma says, I still like to hold a book to read. It's something about holding a book in your hands. Yeah. Flipping through the pages at will. When they came out with the, uh, what's the um, thing called? 
the um I got you one, babe. What's the thing called? What the iPad? The re- oh no, it was that uh that fire thing. <laughs> fire Amazon thing. Fire. <laughs> yeah. Which was cool. When those came out, you know, that was a big deal because people would call into the library. They would buy these devices and then they would call us at the library to help uh, to ask us how do they work their device. Yeah, I mean, I got I'm very good with them. I mean, make no mistake about it. But I can't flip back and forth through the pages with the same fluidity as I can with a book. Yeah, books are, yeah, books are wonderful. And I really read my books. I have highlighters of every color. I will highlight the, the devil out of a book, okay? I will milk it for everything it's worth and then come back later and re reread it several times over years. How many of you have favorite novels? That you've read, that you 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 kind of make a note to reread it every couple years because it's just so good. And when you read it, you find something that you missed the first time, or second, or third, or fourth time through. Mm-hmm. It's like an old friend. Marla says we were taught cursive in third grade back in the day. They even gave us a beautiful long blue pen. Oh wow. And you probably cherish that thing, like, you know. Your girl Trey says, she won't forget my son was in the second or third grade and turned in some work and his letters were in cursive and his teacher didn't grade it. And I was like, he should actually get extra credit for that. Yeah, I mean, I, it's such a beautiful writing, you know, like, I just think everyone should know cursive. Oh, the Coco says, don't even start on new math. Mm. Just blindfold yourself and pick something. Look, I'm still trying to figure out the ruler. Okay. <laughs> I mean, Ariel asked Chelsea for advice one time on, on passing a test. And Chelsea said, Ariel, just pick C. I was like, don't tell her that. <laughs> Chelsea had already finished. <laughs> When in doubt, choose C. I'm like, what kind of advice? In that case, you can just pick C for the whole test. Yeah, we still tease. We still tease Chelsea about that. Bye, uh, Nadine. Brock Harris, she has to go. Bye, Nadine. We'll be praying for you, Nadine. Lodi Coco says uh, her favorite childhood uh, book was The Secret Garden. Oh, that's a good one. I think my favorite childhood book was when I was in the... I had two of them. In the first grade, it was The Invisible Man by Ralph Ellison. And uh, what was the other one? What grade? First grade. You were one of those early yeah, readers, was. huh? I had another one that was... Man Child in the Promised Land was another one in the first grade I was exposed to that was so phenomenal. I think one of my my favorite author uh, was J. California Cooper. So anyone would say, hey, Tracy, you know, as their librarian, um, what what author would you recommend? And I would say J. California Cooper. She's just such a brilliant storyteller. And uh, one of my other authors, who's actually a local author, favorite of mine, um, is Margaret Johnson Hodge. And Margaret, she she actually lives here in Georgia. And I had the opportunity of knowing her before she became this. Uh, before she became. Before Margaret. she became a world-renowned author, I was like, what? <laughs> yeah. Tracy always tells the story of how Margaret was beefing up to take a to get ready to prepare for an interview for, as a teller. And she was sitting on just book after book that she had written since probably when she was 12 or 13, 14 years old. Incredible. It's amazing. And and that's why you always 
you just never know what someone's potential is. There's people walking around with so much potential. And when she finally unleashed that potential, because she would come in the library and she, she was an avid reader, and we just got to talking. And she said that she had been had this manuscript. Someone needs to hear this. She had this manuscript, and she had been holding on to it. This is about what age? For like, she had started it when she was like in about 12, 13 years old. So, you know... I was always encouraging. So my thing was, why not go ahead and see what happens? You know, because she was looking for a job in a bank. So um, she finally got the courage to, re to, to actually submit it. And she got contracted for maybe four books. Well, she four books. That was her written. first. Right. Yeah. Four more books. So... A couple of years later, down the line, <laughs> we, had, we had still kept in touch because I actually, she was new in town and we were both from New York. So that was the big thing uh, with the two of us. Um, just having that common thing was that we were both from New York. And so we became friends. And this is before she became this author, this big name author. And um, I mean, it was just incredible. Hold up. Every single book became a national bestseller. Yeah. I think one of them. And imagine if she movie. would have gotten that job. Um, she didn't get that job because she was supposed to become an author. <laughs> and tell stories through. You know, that was what she was supposed to be doing. And so I remember it was a time where she couldn't even. I had actually asked the library system to. to to come, you know, like to invite her to come and do something with our library system. And they, you know, she wasn't really well known then. So to them. It, yeah, to them. Well, she wasn't really well known then. So they were like, but I said she's local. Still didn't do it, right? But she was still years, a nas years, national. No, author. not yet. Okay. Years later now, when she is a national author, um, she had a meeting with one of the people who like heads up the library system. And she was like, oh, one of my favorite librarian works for, for your library system. And then they were like, who? Uh, Tracy, uh, I was Tracy Wilson at that time. Tracy Wilson. And they were like, oh my goodness. And so they came to me and was like, Tracy, how come you never told us that you knew Margaret Johnson Hodge? She's a best-selling author. We're trying to get her to come here. You know, and do a, a book such and such. I was like, I did tell y'all about her <laughs> years ago. And you all said thank you, but no. There you go. So you just never know. So actually, I actually invited uh, Margaret to do to come and um, we would do book book discussions, right? And I invited Margaret to come and do a book discussion with the ladies that I was having. So it was about 20 women, and we would discuss, read the book and discuss it. And one of the books was Margaret Johnson Hodges' book. And so they didn't know. I told Margaret we were going to surprise them. So they don't know that they didn't know that she was coming. When she walked in that room, Bill, those women almost passed out. Some cried. I, I cried for them because. <laughs> Imagine you're you're having a book discussion about your favorite book because book discussions would be a big thing at the different libraries. You know, you have your book discussion group, and your author walks in the room. Mm, mm, mm. That just gave me so much joy. So yeah, a lot of people. So thanks, Margaret, for following your dream. Right. And you know what? There are a lot of people that have those same, yep. you all have gifts you're sitting on for whatever reason. And all you have to do is release them. Release that gift. It's like the Israelites walking around the desert for 40 years in the promised land is only, what, 12 days away? Hey, make the step. 
Take the step. A lot of people are talking about their favorite uh, books and stuff, Tracy. Well, uh, read, read some uh, titles. I'm going to get some. I'm, I'm going to have to go way back. I miss a lot. I don't know. I, let's see. Okay, I'll start from here. Uh, Malaya says Watchers by Dean Koontz. Mm. Dean Koontz is a good Dean writer. Dean Koontz, yeah, he his books were real. We couldn't keep his books on the shelf. Um, okay, we keep going. Oh, Malaya, 1984. That was oh, one of that's my one of Bill books. loves that book. I love anything like 1984, Brave New World, um, Animal Farm, anything like that. Mm -hmm. The equivalent of that in book form would probably be The Handmaid's Tale. On TV, if any of y'all have seen that. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Let me keep going. Well, the Handmaid's Tale started out as a book. Yeah, well, it did. Mm -hmm. I want to read the, I need to read the book. Yeah, yeah, books are always... Always. Yeah. Better. Linda Huffman says, my favorite children's book is The Talking Eggs. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Oh, Dean Koontz and James Patterson. Yes. James Patterson came out with a young adult series. He's good, too. Um, Boy, those kids ate that series up. Oh, my goodness. They love... Because uh, he decided to... um, Because he's known to uh, as an adult writer. And then when he started doing some of the... The children's series books? Maybe oh, you my turned goodness. me on to one of them, and I casually read that thing, and next thing I know, I, I, yeah, just about finished, I couldn't huh? even stop it. <laughs> uh, Cindy W. says her favorite books were by Nancy Drew. Nancy Drew oh, and yeah, yeah. Stallion. Zelma says her favorite series is, was about a Chinese boy named Little Pear. Hmm. Someone's going to, I think, later on identify where that's from. Netware says Little House on the Prairie series. Oh, yeah, that was another. Priscilla's is uh, Where the Red Fern Grows. Oh, that's a good one. Of course, Dr. Seuss. Uh, especially if you went to the dentist or the doctor's office. They were always That was there. always in there. That and the, a cat coloring book. I don't know if you remember that. <laughs> to the doctor just to read those books, you know. Jennifer Pinnell says Little Women and Anna Green Gables. Oh, yes. Network says Dick and Jane. Oh, I remember the Dick and Jane books. Thank you, Sonia Creel. I better do this then. Sonia Creel is telling Deb C that you, if you have an Amazon Kindle, which I do, you need to cut it on to let it update to keep it relevant or, or it will no longer work properly. I haven't mm. opened mine up in the what? It's been a minute. A you know what? You know where it is, darling. Yes, I'm. A, I'm gonna do it. Thank you, Sonia. I'm, I'm gonna. I better do it just in case. Okay, Little Pear Tracy is by Eleanor Frances Lattimore. Okay, Marla Williams says hers the one she liked was The Good Earth and To Kill a Mockingbird. Mm. The Good Earth was yeah, that's an excellent. To Kill a Mockingbird was good. Oh my God, and Gershaw. Hershub, John Grissom. I must have read everything Grisham? he yeah. ever wrote. Oh, yeah, he's another one that. Linda Penalver says Jeffrey Deaver. Mm hmm. Angel Loves DMV says Christopher Pike. Ah. Y'all got some good ones. Oh, Vicki Jensen. I love, I, I love these two. Tom Sawyer and Huckleberry Finn. Ooh, oh, yes. Those are some great ones. Yes. Little Women and Prince and the Pop Pauper. Rick Reardon. Linda Huffman loves off the Marie Sendak, Chicken Soup with Rice. That's extremely popular. What's the story with the, um, oh, the, the mongoose? You remember that? No. Oh. And the mongoose went after the snake. They actually made it into like a movie at one point. Well, like, a, I don't know, maybe a children's short film. Kids love that. 
Ooh, Chris Evans. Oh, yes. Chris Ricky Rick. Ticky Tavi. That was the name of it. Yep. Ricky Ticky Tavi. Yeah, Malaya, 1984. When you read 1984, a lot of that stuff you could apply to today. I'm sorry. That's just how it is. 1984. That was like a must. That You had to read that. That was like on the reading list. At the time when it came out, a lot of people thought it was absurd because it seemed to be so far-fetched. Oh, this obviously could never happen. But if you read it, like today... Mm-hmm. You'll think they're talking about right now. Exactly. <laughs> Marlene Watts says, I remember in high school we got a list of books and had to pick out like ten to read during yep. the year. Yep. Yeah, we did have to do that too. Oh, the summer reading list, remember? You had yep. like the summer reading list and summer reading club. DMC says the movie is good too. 1984. If you like 19, 1984, oh, really? there's another movie called Brazil. It's hard to find it though. You may have to look on YouTube or something. It's a surrealist story. It, it, the closest thing to it would be 1984. Marla says, if you like spy novels, you'll love John LeCure. Oh, yes. that You could not LeCure. keep those books on the shelf. Oh, I'm going to tell you a book that I read that was surprising. Did you do good. any of the Stephen King books, man? Less Miserables. I can't oh, say Les, it. Les Miserables. Oh, my goodness. That yeah. was a great book. That was <laughs> such a good book. It's funny though, less miserable. Well, that's what I that's how I, I see <laughs> yeah. it. But it was hi Asia Rutledge. Hey Asia. We're talking about our favorite books, Asia. You know how we do. Okay, DFC, you're gonna make me have to go read the handmaid's tale, the book. Yeah, definitely. She says the book was much better than the show, and the show was off the chain. I'm sorry. That looks cute, right? Yes. I just want it to kind of stand up in the middle there, y'all. I'm getting caught up in y'all conversation here. Veronica okay. Rankin says, uh, hey, guys, they are so stinking awesome. You're doing amazing fussy cutting. I love those things. Thank you. Karen Harbour says, her daughters love reading Babysitter's Club. Oh, my goodness. The Babysitter's Club. We could not keep those books on the shelf. They were so popular back in the day. I just want that to have them sitting on the flowers there. Okay, and then I'm going to cut these little hearts out. Let me cover up my um ink. Yeah, just in case I'm gonna put a link to the minus crafting store the first page in case people are interested in getting that those new new, new releases where it's ten percent off. Karen you perfect timing. Hmm? Karen just did it at the same time. Oh did she <laughs> and also some Thanks. people were the colors are cute aren't they? Well emailing us about those ink and re-inkers we have those also that's on the first page. Oh yeah uh, y'all couldn't find Capital. they couldn't find the re-inkers and the inks. It's on the it's on the right on the first page of the website. Loaded Coco, she says, I got to read The Handmaiden's Tale, then I can binge the show. I'm going to tell you what's really tripped out. Now, we I watched the show maybe twice. One time on my own and one time with Tracy. Then I waited about... I wouldn't watch it for a good she, while, y'all. He had to beg, he to had to beg me. Then he, then he couldn't stop me from watching it. <laughs> but when I watched it again, uh, maybe a couple months ago, I was so floored. It's like you're I watching couldn't it believe how again. much I had missed. I missed so many key little things. I was like, oh my goodness. Well, this is nice. Have a little book discussion. Huh? Loda Coco says, 
R.L. Stein Goosebumps Never Stay. Oh my the goodness, the Goosebump series. Oh my goodness, yes. And I had to order those in paperback just so that to keep to buy, be able to stretch the budget <clears throat> to buy those, buy enough of those, the R.L. Steins. I'm going to tell you what's really interesting. Now, if we were crafting, let's say you had a couple of friends over. I'm sure a lot of you have done this. So you, you got together with several friends, three or four of you. Y'all mm -hmm. sat there and crafted together, talking. This is kind of how it would go. You'd craft and talk and yeah, play. And it then, really would. Yeah. And some people who will watch these lives, they'll say, man, they should be crafting. Y'all do a lot of talking. Because <laughs> we're family. Because if we were actually crafting, the crafting together, look, the crafting family. Mm -hmm. This is how we go, and in right. between you craft, you kind of talk about and life. Yeah, and go back to crafting. That's just kind of easy conversation. Yeah, that's what we're doing. We're going with the flow. No, don't bring, don't talk about the haters. Thank baby. you, Jennifer Pinnell. Jennifer says, "I love the Al Digi stamp set. My sweet hubby bought it for me last night. Oh, nice! I and can't wait had, to see what you yeah. do." Yeah. Can't wait to see what you do. You know, what I'm it. thinking about doing is um, I'm thinking about doing a live where I simply show the screen. That's it. I come on and you take them through the whole process. I take you through the entire process of how to. The live chat will be on. You can ask questions. I'll start from the actual download. Right. Literally creating a folder on your desk. First, so you have a place to put your downloads where you can find them. They don't so end up on your computer. Now you're back to square one again. And from take it from that point, how to name, rename the folder, how to pick an editor that you're going to use so you can manipulate your digital images. And okay, so when you're going to do it? I don't know. Let me let me work out the mm -hmm. kinks on that screen thing. But it's, it should be soon. Is that something y'all might like to see? They will like that, babe. They will. Yeah. Because, I mean, it, See, it, like a stamp this it can be here. overwhelming. And sometimes people will say, man, it just seems so difficult. But when you see. When that light goes off. We go through the process. You're going to be, man, is that all you're doing? Because I really. They were like, please, that would be great. I yes. Baby fire and really so, Bill, dumb it get down. on it, babe. Lynn Densley says, I am in Victoria, Australia. You know what? I saw a map one time, right? Okay, on the normal map, Australia looks like it's like some little small island. But the map I was looking at showed actual land mass sizes. And I was floored by, by how large Australia actually was. You see how one thing goes, you like... You do the card this way first, and then the next card comes out slightly different. <laughs> Certainly, Marcia Burton. Marcia Burton, I, I think I sent you an email. Oh, yeah, she got a, he sent you an email this morning. This morning, but I think I may do that, and I need to let y'all know ahead of time so that those that may be having some difficulty with it can actually be on and really watch. Right. That would be great. Because it'll be in real time. Marianne Howell says, yes, I love hearing the two of you talk about life, art, while I want, while I watercolor craft well, we're and glad work in you my do. office. Look, we're glad you do because there are a, a lot of people who, said, who don't like us crafting and laughing. She says, I like that your videos are longer so I don't have to keep switching videos. I love you too. <laughs> Hi, Margaret. Thank Chester. you. We I appreciate we appreciate the love, but guess who love guess who loves you too. <laughs> we do. Prentice says craft virtual together. Yeah, it's just you know it's a Saturday. We're kind of just hopefully y'all are making something too, right? Lynn yeah. says, densely in, in Australia says, yes, Bill, we do have a lot of land, but not all is livable. Not all is livable yet because they haven't asked enough questions, Lynn. 
my mom used to always say, if you want a big answer, you got to be willing to ask a big question. A very big question would be, how do we make this land livable? What do we have to do? And be serious in your pursuit of seeking that answer. And I promise you, you'll be surprised how much livable land you have in Australia. Oh, I'm glad you like that card, Kathleen. Yeah, Marcia, I think it was because you did it on your phone. And, oh, yeah, yeah. You, you, yeah. You can't do it on the phone. And, Marcia, you have to have some kind of editor. On like, the phone, right? Yeah. Oh, to do it. Yeah. So it's better if you use some, some kind of like a laptop, a computer, an iPad, or something, where you at least have a, a easy access to something, at the least, like Google Docs, at the least. But I would actually use either Open Office or LibreOffice because it's so easy. But you can use whatever. Get my next step. Get my next card thing to do here. Sorry, y'all. I'm over here hitting the table and whatnot. Yeah, Lynn. I mean, I've seen pictures of Australia and it looks absolutely phenomenal. Absolutely, just. Although I did see some kangaroos. They showed some kangaroos. Remember that kangaroo they showed, Tracy? That was outside somebody's window. Oh, my goodness. He kicked the window. And I mean, I, I didn't know kangaroos were that big. Not like that. He was huge. If that thing got in the house, it's over. I'm sorry. Girl, stop. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Woo, you better be jumping. Hey, I believe we could kick a door down. I don't know why I'm wanting to do little brown circles around my. <laughs> oh, you're going to have eyeshadow on she. Yeah, she. I think Marlene Watson like this. Marlene says, my son has two monitors at his house, but I only have one. Mm. Well, when your son How dare he? goes out and turns his back, go to his house and take one of his monitors. Cindy, I'll answer this question. She's asking you, Tracy, how did your macaroni turn out? I'm going to answer this, Cindy. It was absolutely fabulous. He got to have some. I got to eat it when it still has smoke. I think I made too much macaroni. Which is, it, but that means it was just enough. <laughs> I made too much macaroni. I'm into pink hearts lately, y'all. No red hearts, pink. Me too, Marla. Marla's telling Karen she loves two monitors. I have to have at least two monitors. I've had three at one point, but... But what? I just didn't have enough room anymore. Mm. My monitors are like big TVs and stuff. All that monitoring would hurt my eyes. <laughs> no, it's just that if you use software for me, where you have certain things, a bunch of plugins. And I know, but I'm open, saying for me, the monitor would hurt my eyes. Even your TV is too much for me. Sonia Creel says, just use your television to watch the internet and the phone and text. Like I do. Works like a champ. Mm. Man, Lynn Dancy said, those uh, kangaroos can be very big. She accidentally hit one in the car. Mm. And it was like hitting a cow. Oh, and they were only goodness. going 40 kilometers an hour. It's really scary. Hmm. Macaroni sounds good. And we still got some more. Look, Ariel had the nerve to eat the macaroni for breakfast, babe. I was like, Ariel, you eating that macaroni for breakfast? These youngins, okay. She was like, yep. Breakfast macaroni. She was like, why not? I was like, you know what? You're right. Why not? <laughs> so, look at my little... My owl... Australia is on my bucket list. Oh my goodness. I would love to go to Australia. Marce my son and his family lives there. Nice. 
Marcia, email me that, that recipe at admin and minuscrafting.com. What recipe? She says, hey, Bill, I think I make a better sweet potato pie than you. If it's better than mine, no, I, don't know. I need to have that recipe because I know mine is pretty good. His is really good. But you may do something different. Whatever it is, I let me add that to the repertoire. Never Might know. be a secret recipe, Bill. Hopefully it's not one of those kind of recipes you have to die for. To protect the family. Love, look at the two of us. Strangers along the way. I thought it was in many ways. I don't know. <laughs> Can I just have my own words right now, y'all? I just want to say it my way. I know. He wants to tell me how to sing my own song, right? <laughs> Sometimes you got to sing to a different tune. You know what? Sandra Arrington, I agree. Sandra says, I think whatever you eat for breakfast is breakfast food, okay? There you go. Exactly. So go ahead and eat all of those donuts for breakfast, darling. Oh, Lisa says, Bill, make some and ship them out to us so we can judge. Then I'd have the sweet potato police on me. Aha! <laughs> uh -huh. Sweet potato police. Karen Hargrove says, I would love to do a triple A trip. That is, Alaska, Africa, and Australia. Oh, that would be fun. I would definitely love. I thought, for, seriously, Africa and Australia. I will say this. When I was in the military... Two countries I went to, I used, I used to feel like I could live in them at that time was uh, Belgium and Spain. Yeah. Or well, Amsterdam back then, too. I kind of like that in Rotterdam. I like those canals and stuff. But the people in Belgium and the people in Spain were so nice, so friendly, so warm. So embracing. It was incredible. But that was back then. I don't know what it is now, but back then. Alaska, I heard the days can be six months long. I think I would kind of drive me batty. Mm. Would it? You never sleep. Yeah, I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> I never sleep anyway. That'd be perfect right, for me. That'd be perfect it? for you, man. <laughs> Not like you sleeping. Marlene Watts says, I think I would like to visit New Zealand. I heard New Zealand was nice. Believe it or not, as far as what it looks like. Do I we have that, any New Zealanders on here? I heard that South Africa is beautiful. Lisa says she's been to Spain on a cruise also. Oh, wow. That sounds like that would be nice. Hopefully when the world opens up again, right? Your girl Trey says she had a safari plan for this year. They're supposed to do it in 2020, but they're going to push it to 2022. Yeah. I mean, we're really going to really appreciate traveling when everything else, when everything opens up again. We're really going to appreciate being able right. to travel. Right now, you appreciate just going to the grocery store and getting back safely. <laughs> Woo, we made it through that one. Why am I doing a purple and pink I owl? Remember. Huh? Because you can. I, I don't know why. I'm just kind of, hey. I mean, aren't the things that kind of uh, get us up a little bit is going to the grocery store, getting a basket and discovering there are no wipes and stuff like that. Oh, I will panic in a minute. Yeah, Tracy okay. Wells, she won't even touch the bag. I'll be like, Bill? So now we have our own wipes, but... And it, spray and all kind of stuff. It's a shame. The things now that we get... <laughs> what? Wipes? Oh, there are no wipes. Oh, my God. What am I going to do? I'll be like, Bill, don't touch that. Bill, don't. i probably drive you crazy, huh, Bill? Bill, don't touch that. I actually went to the store the other day and walked in the door... <laughs> And only to realize it's because a lady looked at me and I was like, what is she? And I realized that I didn't have my mask on. I turned around and literally almost ran back ran to the back car. Ran back to the car, huh? 
I was so horrified at myself because I, I I live with I wear two masks. Here's my thing. Some people say you don't need. I, I look. I'd rather err on the on the, on the side of caution than than trying to prove that I'm right by not having one on. Okay. Jennifer is coloring with me, Bill. She's Jennifer doing Panetta. she's doing an owl. She's doing her owl in pink and green. Nice. Airbrush says, I love to cook from scratch. My macaroon and my spaghetti. Ooh, so you do spaghetti from scratch. Your know, brandy can cook spaghetti from scratch, right? See, you know that? Oh, nice. Seriously, he does a good job. Good. Yeah. But you know who got him started on it? He talks about it all the time. You? Well, there you, you know go. You didn't know that, did you? Sure didn't. Yep, you sure did. That's what he says. I do make a good spaghetti, though. If I must say so myself. You know? Oh, Cindy, I don't have... Okay, Cindy's saying, Bill, what are the instructions for getting the owls printed out for the scan and cut, please? For the scan and cut? Well, once you uh, put them on that... Uh, here, let me go back and give you the directions for the playlist. Because once you can do the playlist and put them on that sheet of paper... The rest should fall in place. But is she trying to just load it into her scanning cut? Or she's just trying to put it on the paper and then just kind of... Or she's trying to use, use her the scanning, files themselves. Use her scanning cut to just cut them out. Cut out the images. Yeah, you may have to just go go to YouTube and type in instructions on, on using those images in that scanning cut. It's a, it's a lot of money. Okay, y'all. The outer wings here. What color? This looks cute just like this. Look, if I was to take this away, it looks like a little baby owl if I took the outer wings away. But what do y'all think? Suggestions on the outer wings? Yes, Lisa Stewart. We're using the Daxi alcohol markers. Yes. Yeah. Oh, purple on the outer wings too? Blue. Michelle Trito said blue. Blue. Pale green. Oh, pale green. Huh. Pale green. Green. A pale green. Let's see. Thinking about the pale green. Let's see. I don't think this is pale enough. Huh. Needs to be a deeper green on that one. Let's see what this one is. These are Daxies. You have so many different greens. It's, it's amazing. Let's see what else I got in here. It's a deep olive green. Nope. Let's see. There's a deep olive green, but I think this is going to be too, too dark. Oh, no. That's too dark. Let's see. All right, let's see what this one is. That's a fluorescent. Lime green. Spring dim green. No. Let's see what this lime green does. Still too bright. Just plain green, huh? It's a grass green. Let's see what this grass green is like. Same color for her eyes. That's that light green, I think. That's that light pink. Let's see. Is that that? That's that real pale pink. Okay. She looks like she got some eye sh some uh, what's that eyeshadow? I don't know. 
Okay, I just put the link in there for those Adaxi markers. It's 168 of them. Now, That's once, why it's so hard to choose all these colors, okay? It, so it's $58, you know. And then you, they, if you don't want to get a 168 of them, they have others that have lesser number of markers at a yeah, lower they price. But for $58, 168 every color you can possibly imagine, the quality is extremely good. They blend exceptionally. It's, it's, just, it's just a fantastic deal. Oh, that pink works, y'all. Look at y'all. Yeah, Ronnie Kansas says it needs to be a lighter color so the definition of the feathers come through. Mm -hmm. Which is what y'all are doing. It's cute. But then I'm going to take this little bit of a darker pink here. Let's see. Ken Harbour says not only are they $58.99, they also have a 5% off coupon. The coupon, yes. Get the coupon with that. That is such a great deal, seriously. I think Bill's going to share the link. I did. I already put it in there. Go, babe. Well, Sandra Arrington said something. Let me go back to see what she said. Uh, Just right along here with the, uh, let's see. The thing to blend is to blend while it's still somewhat wet. While well, going back, here's an interesting. Marlene Watts says, I was stationed in Germany back in the 70s. I love exploring and visiting the castles, beautiful country. That's where I met my husband. We were stationed at the same post. Oh. He just took one look at you and said, girl, <laughs> I do, okay? Lisa is asking, what about the same color that you use for her eyes or something? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's what I'm doing, babe. Oh, I'm late. Sorry, y'all, I'm late. Yes, you are. But we'll forgive you for Hi, now. Susan Miranda. Hey, Susan. She says, Susan says, I'm taking a break from crafting. I made three cards this morning. Oh, wow. So here I am for more crafting, okay, Susan. Well, I could not get away from the craft room last night. Oh, Lynn Huffman says, I use Wink of Stella to give the wings some shimmer. Isn't that? Wink of Stella sounds like something you would drink, huh? You keep saying that, babe. <laughs> like, wink of Stella. You have you know what? Drink I feel like wink I used to, Stella, I used to have you? some Wink of Stella around here. Huh. Guess I'll have to. Guess I'll tell you where that is. That's one of those things you keep buying because you just say, I don't care how you're looking for Where's it. Where's my Wink of Stella? I'm going to cut this out because I, I need to mount this. This is just too cute not to mount. Look at that. Arabeth says she loves that pink. She thinks pink and purple, the colors look good. Kathleen German says, wow, Tracy, that's an awesome owl. That owl is just... John did a good job with that, didn't he? Let me cut yeah. this out so I'm not struggling too much. He did a good job with that. Oh, I remember that. Lisa said they used, used to have Fresca soda. You remember that one? Oh, that? I remember Fresca. How y'all get on Fresca it soda? It had a nice taste, didn't Wait it? Wait a minute. How y'all get on Fresca soda? Fresca soda was like... Do they stuff. still sell, sell that? Fresca. I wish I could describe it. It, it just had a nice... <sighs> that was a good one. Mm. I didn't really like Tab, Lisa. This is a tab. tab. My mother liked tab. How do y'all get on soda? I just want to know, like, what was the transition? <laughs> then the hubba says, Fresca, yuck. It was I was Dr. Pepper. I love me some, back in the day, You still like love Dr. me Pepper. some Dr. Pepper. In this day. Every so often. I'm not really a big soda drinker like some people. Uh, what do you think? Nameless. Bill is a cream soda. And root beer fanatic. Yeah. In that order. Well, not anymore, but, you know. That's true.
Michelle Trito says, I haven't crafted today yet. Not yet. Keep that yet on there. This is going to be so adorable. I can already tell. And then if you want, you can cut the heart out and then hmm, you cut the heart out and mount that so that, to give it dimension. I remember the first time I had a root beer. It was at A&W. They used to have the A&W places where you went to get food and stuff. Like the root beer floats? And the root beer that came out of that fountain thing was so incredible. They just don't even have an equivalent for what I was tasting as a kid. I'm sorry. Yes, Lourdes. Lourdes says, uh, Hello, just came in. Is that the new stamp set? This one is the new digital stamp set. Um, there's another one also the photopolymer stamp set. This is the owl, owl love digi stamp set. Yep. Let me move that over. So that's the owl love. And then we have, we released also yesterday the beauty in everything stamp set. And Herschel upstairs, when my kids were little, I would drink the clear cream soda. They would think it was water. And of course, <laughs> they would not drink it. That's a good one. Water is like kryptonite. That to is kids. too funny. Want some water? No! Soda, yes! The clear cream soda. Me too, Marla. Marla says she could drink a root beer float every day. Back in the day, please. Now that stuff be catching up to you. Karen Algram. Karen says cream soda is gross. Tastes <laughs> like melted ice cream. You're fired, Karen Algram, for talking about my favorite drink. <laughs> cream soda. Woo! Oh, Kathleen German says someone asked for a polymer set out of owls. We haven't got that far, I don't think. We have to see if there's a real demand for it. There is. But yeah, we'll have to, that'll have to be. Then if so, then if so. In the future. I put it on that list. It's on the list already. Because we made a bunch of stuff and, and did that. Look how cute that is. I remember my, uh, my grandfather used to drink this stuff called Zolt. Coca-Cola. Hmm? It's called Zolt. Really? It was about two and a half times the strength of Coke. Zolt? Coca-Cola. You couldn't even make a little swallow after you felt like, you know how you get something that's like, you ever have one of those slurpees and you slurp and, and then you, it starts hurting? It hurts your throat and you just jump around like, oh, no, no. Oh, no. you get like a um, like brain, brain freeze. freeze. Yeah. But well, that's how Zolt was. When it was so strong when you swallowed it, you would just be like, Ugh. Zolt. He could drink the whole can or bottle straight through with no stop. I've never seen anything like it in my life. <laughs> he would it's go brownies, into the place and where, you know, they would corners. cut the bologna. You didn't just get it like already sliced. And it was sliced about two inches thick. And he would take the whole two inch thick piece of bologna and put it between two slices of bread with nothing else added mm. and eat it. Y'all are mindless crafting. Just bear with me. Mindless crafting. Linda Helper says, I have three cards made, but I'm not sure what I want the sentiments to say. Well, you know, birthdays are always popular, so. I know, Susan. Susan Renner says, I drink water because I have to at least four bottles a day. Oh, it nice. Seven. I was like, nice. seven glasses of water? Seven? Are you crazy? But if he said four, seven Coca-Colas, I'd be like, oh, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Seven cream soda. Oh, yeah. Mm. I'm not saying nothing, y'all. Me and my <laughs> husband have gotten into arguments over some cream soda. Hi, Bertha. 
We sure did. I remember Tracy one time. I was really upset to see you that he, day. You were really mad at I me. I was really upset. In the upset. grocery store. Okay, y'all. I went and got a case. It's about 12, and I had I, such a taste. I didn't stamp crazy. this out right, huh? Look at that. I'm not stamping right now. She, she went right on this whole thing about why I didn't need it and this and that. And... Because here's what happened, y'all. What had happened was my husband decided I was in the line already. And we were checking out. And he was like, oh, I got to go get one more thing. This man comes to, <laughs> to the register with 24, the 24 can it's pack. It's a special. <laughs> 24 <laughs> can pack. 24 of cream sodas. Cream sodas, right? I knew that me and Ariel were not. His, his go-to thing is, oh, Ariel might want some. I, I always say that. He always says that. And Ariel was like, I wish he would stop using my name Ariel in order to buy stuff, this. right? Ariel might want that. But you know what? And I think about three or four days later, I would think I was in the hospital. You were in the hospital. Yep. I was in the hospital for I about made him put that thing nine back. Nine days. My, my husband drove home. Seriously in the hospital. Yeah, that's when they found out that he yeah. had diabetes. Yep. I didn't even know. They were like... So what do you take and for he, diabetes? Y'all, like, wait a minute. Diabetes? He got mad at me, y'all, because I made him put those sodas back. Imagine. I'm on his team. <laughs> Man was mad I at me. I was so Ooh. upset. I was so upset. Y'all don't understand. Yeah, it, it was bad, y'all. Oh, My husband. He 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 rode home. You actually um drove home in silence. And I felt guilty for making him put it back, but I had to stand my ground that day. I was like, Bill, you got to stop. Exactly, Margie, but it was on special. Bill, you got to stop. Margie understands me. Well, there was a hospital bed on Margie special, too. Margie understands. Mm. Vanessa Angelou says, when you get a chance, can she please see the reveal of the new items? Oh, yes, yes. Sonia Creel does not like cream soda. Good. Sonia Creel... And then the thing is, if he brings it into the house, then I'm tempted to drink it, I too. I'm it. the one who has to take the higher ground here. I'll, I have to almost do a military operation just, to get stuff like that in the house. It's just that here's the thing. I saw what he looked like when he was in that hospital. That's what I saw. And when a doctor comes to you and says, your husband is really sick, that's like that. Yeah, that, you know. Especially when you don't feel that like part. you're really sick. I don't feel sick. Bill, you passed out, darling. <laughs> All I remember, I, no, I didn't pass out. I woke up in the hospital. Right. That's what I did. I don't even remember the passing out part. Right, that part. He got mad at me that time. I was like, woo, he is, he is upset. <laughs> Angels, Angels loves DMB. <laughs> the, the hospital bed was on special. <laughs> you know, <laughs> that's what I said. Right. <laughs> He wants special. Um, someone wanted me to show this. Here's the um, Owl Love Digi Stamp. And Beauty and Everything. Look at that. Sugar-free is not cancer-free. There you go. You know, your mind, you always say it. Uh, it's the other guy. It doesn't happen to me. The other guy gets sick. The other guy. Yes, look, Linda Huffman is giving you some very good encouragement. She's telling you, Bill, she's type 2 diabetes. Did you see her comment? That's what I have. Yeah, did you see her comment, Linda? Uh, yes, she says, I am type 2. I was crabbing late last night getting the owls out. I was munching on gummy bears and goobers. I wear a Dexcom. My sugar level got up to 320. 320. Hold up, Linda. <laughs> when my, Linda. sometimes, uh, usually I'm in, in the range of about, say, 90 something. That's at the low, low. Don't be looking back at me funny, I 90 something to about 120. But last night it went to 127, and I was so alarmed. Oh my God! It said 127. Oh my goodness! 
320, I would have been running to the hospital myself. Help me. Hold up. My friend, their sugar level went to 600. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty high. Yep. Just got to take care of ourselves. Moderation, too. Sonia Kuro, you she said, I, she, what, you, you think I can function without having one, what, cream soda daily? Hold up. I hardly drink. I don't really drink them at yeah, all Yeah, that's because I'm the gatekeeper. Would you say one daily back in the day? I Please. could drink a whole case daily. It was bad. Yeah. <laughs> one. I had to reel that in with a, with a swiftness, though. Swiftness. Okay. Even with the attitude, okay. But it's okay, darling. I could hide cream soda around the house like I was an alcoholic, a cream a creamaholic. Hide something in the garage over here, in the back of the cabinet. You know what I mean? Please. <laughs> and you have. Oh boy! And you can imagine how sometimes I go to look for my cream soda in the cabinet and it's gone. Like, no, no. Right. My thing is, don't bring them in the house because then I'm going to want to. Oh, my God. I'm going to want to drink it. Deb C said her mom had got tested in the ER once and it was so high they couldn't even measure it. Oh, my God. Karen Hankins said her sister was so severe that it dropped down to five and within 15 minutes it was over 800. Mm. That is absolutely incredible. I even have built so with that I'm on the journey with him. I have him take my blood sugar too. You know. Cindy says hubby and I both have type two. It's so hard to cook right, but I use monk fruit sweetener mostly. You know what, Cindy? You know, I was I, talking about that before too, right? Let me tell y'all something, seriously. When I came from the hospital and I'm trying to do the diet and eat the stuff they say. Tracy, tell you, I was actually depressed. I was like, man, I can't even eat nothing. But when you saw the weight come off, though. There was nothing on the list that I could eat. Yeah, there was stuff on the list. You just have to change your mindset, darling. Uh, Vanessa, our prayers go out. She says, Tracy, Mr. Real, can you pray for my family? Two of us have tested positive of COVID. Our mm. prayers go out to you, Vanessa. We're praying for you. Health is everything, okay? Health is just... And this is why I'm going to put my green in here. This is where the green will come in. That is pretty high, man. 800. I want my husband to be healthy, okay? Darling, I just, Vanessa said I just the want leaves you to be look healthy. like lips. You know what? I was thinking the same thing. They do look like lips. They do. So if you ever want to double up, I will make some lips. Just Use get that the leaves. One. Yeah, but we do have a stamp set with the lips on them. That's that love you stamp set. Lips. There you go. <laughs> Oh, thank you, son. Health is everything. Yes, Angie. And only good thing looking out, Tracy. Every right, health is everything, and only thing good looking out, Tracy. She ain't trying to be a widower. Exactly. Look. I mean, exactly. I look back on it. I mean, I was actually blessed, to be perfectly honest, because for at least a week in the hospital. Like, of course, the nurses are coming in and out of the room. I had to rest from the nurses when I got out because they wouldn't give you no sleep. But uh, they would constantly take my blood pressure. And I'm feeling like it's nothing you were wrong. Sick, babe. It's nothing wrong with me. Mm. My blood pressure Y'all, I was right there in the hospital. The whole week was like 197. You know? Look, I was right there in the hospital with him. I seen the numbers. Okay. <laughs> Every time they said something, I was right there listening in. 
I was planning his diet while I was at the hospital bed with him. Uh, when we get home, there's nothing this. wrong with me, Tracy. I'm why about, can't I sit up? I'm about to get this. I I'm about to get up. this. Please. I was doing. I was making my menu. He was like, "What are you over there writing? Your next couple of meals, grocery lists." <laughs> I was like, oh, we're going to do this together. Exactly, Marlene. Marlene Watts says, we need you both to stay healthy. We need you to keep making YouTubes and being part of our families. Exactly. Taz Holder says her husband is a milkaholic. So, Taz, does your, sometimes can you hear your husband open the refrigerator and then it gets quiet? <laughs> you know what yeah, that means? That's you? Bill. That means he's drinking right out of the thing. My mother, she can hear me. Are you drinking out of it? Because she heard that quietness. <laughs> That's funny. No! So I just says, I promise if you don't get healthy, Bill, I would fly there to give you a sponge bath. No! <laughs> Ah. Tracy, I love that what you, those those leaves. They make that owl come to life. I'm just creating patterns, darling. Thank you. Hold up, Lynn. Lynn Densley. What is a triple A? Lynn says I found out a couple of months ago that I was a triple A. I hmm. was so upset because my father died from a triple A about eight years ago. He was dead oh, before he hit the that? ground. Bye, Marla. The storm is coming. She hasn't heard me get to the grocery store. Oh, boy. Yeah, y'all. Be careful if y'all are in the path of that storm. It is it is incredibly cold outside today. Tracy, those stitch things look good on there. Thanks, babe. I like that they're different than normal. It's always good to switch it up a little bit. Vanessa says they have a nor'easter that's going to hit there Monday. Where? Vanessa, where are you at again? Trey says in Nashville, too. Yeah, because it's, I mean, it's incredibly cold here. Y'all be careful. It's not too bad right now compared to what it has been. I love crafting in a storm, though. So all I'm doing is like creating a little pattern there. Now I can add a few little of the, um, where's my gems? Where's gems okay, out? Tracy, a triple A is an abdominal aortic aneurysm. Oh, wow. That sounds mm. not good. Okay, hold up. I missed where Angel Vanessa's from. Oh, Massachusetts. That's oh, right. I remember that. yeah, y'all are going to really get it up there. I have family in in, uh, in Massachusetts. Oh, okay, Sonia. I got you. I got you. I got you. Yeah. Angie says they got hell in San Diego yesterday. That's never happened before. Oh, wow. That's, Angie, that's the climate change that everyone says is not real. Let's see. See right here. Oh, my glue went and got stopped up, y'all. Ooh, good. It went. Glad it wasn't me. I would never have heard the end of it. Just little dots right here. Y'all see where I'm going with this, right? Oh, I gotta remember to add the um that other card. I gotta go back and add Ooh. some stuff on that card. Tracy. Ooh. Loading Coco. Her book, she says, I really want you to try my cookbook now. It's it's alkaline food, but it's tasty and simple. So so let me ask you a question, loaded Coco. Is it like like Dr. Sebi? 
that sort of thing. Look at that brings it to life. Thank you, Vanessa Angel Rose. Vanessa says she just placed the order. Can't wait to get it. She's excited to work with the new stamp. Oh, nice. Thank you. Oh, that's right. Vanessa is in Massachusetts. Man, Gwen Watson says they're supposed to get five to seven inches of snow in Indiana. Goodness. Y'all remember this song? I'm going back to Indiana. Back. <laughs> yes. Indiana, here I come. Indiana. Indiana. <laughs> any. Any. Not Indy. Indy. No, any. As a kid, I heard any. Mm. You can't tell me how to hear my and sing my song. Okay, go ahead, babe. You sing, <laughs> sing your song. Sing your song. Indiana. Yeah. <laughs> Indiana. Okay. Oh, let me go ahead and I got to get this. Um, show y'all how to do this other thing real quick. And then I'll go back to that other card. That came out nice. That. Okay, so this right here, you got to be kind of careful with it because you don't want to squeeze too hard. I love that stuff right there. That might be my favorite accents. favorite extra added. And stuff. this is not the original bottle that it came in. And why is that stopped up right now? Let me get my little pen. It's trying to irritate you. It was working just fine last night. Lynn Dancy says it's looking good. Lisa Thanks, says she still has that album. Isn't that a great album? Gwen Watson says, I love the owls. I understand Susan, Susan Marilla says, I like the snow, but not the ice. How many of you come from those come from those kind of states where the ice, you get that black ice where your oh, car is at you corner be or something very careful. you won't even go. It just spins and you can't stand up on it. This was working fine last night, Bill. What did you do? Blame it on the hubby. See, I'm going to use this just hoping that I can't shake it up. So, oh, there we go. There we go. See, so I didn't want to like squeeze it too much. But look at that. So now, just on this area here, just kind of take it and I'm just going back and forth with it. And it just does what it's supposed to do. Hi, Diane Montoya. Hey, she, Diane. She says, I know I'm late, but it's beautiful. Thank you. Hi, Teresa C. Little Sister Spitfire. Huh? That's her name. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Hi, Teresa C. Little Sister Spitfire. Just call me T. I added it part. <laughs> I like that. That black ice is no joke. Okay. And if I want, I can do this heart. This is not the original bottle. My other bottle, I don't know what happened to it. Something happened and it either broke or something. Just wasn't working right. So see there. See how that looks now? And then if I want to add some, oh Lisa, pin off, some pin off and says which glitter is that? Which that, one? That's not glitter. Oh, this is this is actually called glossy accents. I love the glossy accents. I was trying to get this from um, one of my suppliers, and it's on back order, like for months now. But you can get it on Amazon. Yeah, loaded cocoa. She said yes. I, doctor said I would love to ingredients. See okay, so I'm gonna just put a little bit of this on here, and then I gotta let it dry. You ever do a card and then you lay something on it, forgetting that you were supposed to let it dry? 
Lord okay. of Call Call. Once you're done with that book and get it up and going, uh, you send me the details at admin at mindestcrafting.com. I can support your greatness, your gift. That's awesome. Like I said, it was phenomenal. I'm hoping y'all are crafting along right now. Y'all just sitting with your soda. Vicki Justin says, I actually have that glossy accents in my cart on Amazon. Ready oh, nice. Yes, look at that. Air Breath says she, it. she loves the crochet in the winter. Elisa Penalver is asking, does that glossy accent come in colors? That's a good question. I, I think it just comes in the clear. I mean, because if you have color under it, it's just going to do, you know. It just accents it. Yeah, it just makes it like, uh, it see, I'm doing, this is what I'm doing to eyes, though. She has sparkles in his, in her eyes for him. And then vice versa, right? Vanessa Angerol say Angerol says the glossy accents only come in the clear. That's what I would was think. I mean, that's the only color I've seen it in. Cynthia, I've been just finished organizing her stuff again. Nice, Cynthia. How <laughs> many times again. you gonna do it? You gonna organize it to the point where you can't find anything? Hmm. You'll be disorganizedly organized. Huh? It didn't come out right, did it? All right. You know what? <laughs> it's it's you, Bill, so I'm, I'm used to it. Okay. Marlene Watt says Nouveau Crystal Glaze does about the same thing. That's what oh, does uses. it? Okay. They got so many different things out. Zelma says that's too cute. She's never used glossy ac accents, but I'll be purchasing some soon. And that bottle is surprisingly large. It has a surprising amount of glossy accents. Right, here. you don't need a whole lot, you know, unless you feel like you want to buy a huge bottle. Look at that. Look how adorable. Bertha says, Tracy, I'm trying hard to get my accordion card to close right. What? Girl. Bertha. You can do it. Where's my... I need to use some of my scraps. Let's see. This is the paper that I've been using. I don't want to get these. Look, these might get... That's the one that's still wet, so I don't want to... Let's see what we got here. Bye, Cindy. You Cindy. can't go wrong with stripes, okay? Cindy W says, those are so pretty. I will get those made soon. You guys have a great day. I have to head out, head out for now. Have a great day, Cindy. Have Thanks a great coming. day. Thanks for joining us. Ann says, I was doing dishes. Now I'm back in my crafting space. Dishes? <laughs> Chris, this sounds like you. Hmm? You would do that. Hmm. That's a whole nother story, y'all. Right in mid, just when the enjoyment is at the peak. What? Dishes? Yeah. What I'm enjoyment? Like, can't we just wait to after this? Bill, see, here's the thing, y'all. We'll watch a movie. Here's it, where it's Bill right and I... the point. I've been waiting all movie for this to happen. No, babe. It's in between the series. Oh, I think I'll watch the dishes now. What? Bill, you don't come back in this room. I'll sit on you before I let you go watch it. Look, till I finish this thing. What you see? What he says though, he <laughs> said until I let you go wash the dishes. <laughs> <laughs> just throw them away. He said hey, until I paper plate something. Okay? <laughs> we can always buy some more. Okay, until <laughs> I let you go and wash the dishes. Not, hey, darling, dearest. Awesome, Miss Wife. What you're about to say is not true. 
Because I will help. If I come to help at that point, Tracy go. Help? Oh. I'm already doing it. If you wanted to do it, you could have done it. Do it without. First, without me having to ask. Without me having to ask. I said you didn't ask. Yes, but I was doing it already. I said, yeah, but you didn't ask. Why should I have to ask, darling? Right, so let me help. Mm. No. Just go do them. What about that? Tonight, you're going to do the dishes, darling. Can we stop talking tonight, about this? Tonight, tonight. Bill will do the dishes. Not tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Bertha says, it's are the there any thing. glossy accents in the store? No. We're trying to get them, but Cindy, Cynthia says, if you live in a cold, cold climate, glossy accents will freeze. Oh, will they? They must be like uh, our glitter glue. I need a little frame around this. Huh. Yeah. little itty bitty frame. Hmm. Let's see. I'm going to make this thing stand out. I am determined... Go watch your foot, babe. I don't want to run over it, darling. Hmm. I just need to, I need something like in a pink for some reason. That's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. Something in a pinkish, purplish. Oh. Well, here's the thing. Karen Hogger says, we always work with whoever cooks the meal, the other person does the dishes. Somewhere along the way, hubby rarely does the dishes. Well, here's the thing, Karen. I, I have intentions to do the dishes, but on, at, at, on my time frame. See, after I eat Tracy's stuff, is so good, I have to lay for a second and let it just marinate. So you see who does the cooking, right? That's because your <laughs> cooking is better. Mm. So I, I have to let it marinate. Mm -hmm. But Tracy likes to wash the dishes like before my marination period has it. I know I'll get too tired to do them, darling. But I'm going to do them. Mm. But you don't want to wait. He'll do them the next morning. No, I won't. <laughs> Bill? I'll do them the next night. Bill, you, you, lay, you, <laughs> no, laid, the you laid the foundation. <laughs> Hubby does a lot of dishes for me. I do Susan. dishes. That's so sweet, Susan. I do that too, Susan. Me and your husband, just in life. <laughs> tell him, Hubs. Mr. Miranda, tell him, I'm like you. Don't get Susan in <laughs> started. <laughs> Thank you. He is so sweet. I, I know you think you're talking about she's your husband, saying, but you're talking about Susan me. Susan Miranda's husband. No, she's talking about me. Oh, there you go. He is sweet. All them sugar drinks he's been drinking, he should be sweet. I didn't mean some paper plates. We use paper plates. And it's not like there's a whole lot of dishes, but if you keep adding dishes to the pile, they will pile up. But it's okay. When I was in the Navy, we got me and another guy yes, named Alfred. He got we got stuck in a deep sink, and there were so many dishes. This one time, mm. he got Alfred got all these pots and put them in a garbage bag and threw them over the back of the ship. He refused to wash them. So many. Can you believe that? Mm. Well, I'm just talking about. Got caught. I'm just talking about three or four dishes in the pot. Bill likes to soak the pots that don't need to be soaked. It must be soaked properly. He likes to soak them that way. That's his go-to of I'll leave them till it's tomorrow. Still, all the debris disintegrates on it. It's on. <laughs> I'm just gonna let it soak. It's okay though, darling. That's because the pan, my my, the pan supposedly that. We're supposed to come off with no effort, please. You almost need a, a, a pile driver to get the stuff off, okay? And then I'll come and just be able to wash it for somehow. <laughs> After I soak it. This goes good because it has hearts on it. Here we go. This will work. This is going to work. I like the patterns. It's okay to have, it makes it look fun. 
Marlene says, both of my parents work, so whoever got home first would start the supper, and the other one did the dishes, at least until we were old enough. So how old were you Please. when you started doing the dishes, too? <laughs> Get in that kitchen. Stand on the chair, the ladder. <laughs> Netwear. I ran out. Wait a minute. Where are my um my mounting tape? Did I use that much? Wow. I've been really doing some card making. Mm -hmm, mm. A few more here. Right, Vicky. Vicky just doesn't understand. It's called soaking. The soaking technique. Mm hmm I don't think things need to soak for two. Tracy, this is like something you would say. I'm gonna read this. Oh, but okay, wait, come back. Come back. I gotta read this part. I gotta go to the other craft and then you can read it. I gotta go to the other craft room. Netware says, Who washes two or three dishes and leaves the rest? Oh my goodness. Because <laughs> aren't the are the <laughs> Are the forks and knives? These ain't mine. Are the forks and knives are, are not a dish? Okay, like so you're washing every dish and then leaving. Them. <laughs> Tracy sees that so much. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, those weren't in there. When I walked away, they got in the sink somehow. Well, not only that. Here's the thing. If you're gonna go ahead and say, okay, I'm gonna wash the dishes, then wash all the forks. And spoons and knives. Those are dishes too. It's okay though. Hmm. Because I have crafting to do. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Or here's the here's the thing. Sure. The dishwasher is like right there. Right there. Okay. So you leave the cup. <laughs> Leave the cup right above the dishwasher. So it doesn't make it into the dishwasher, but you leave it. Nedware. <laughs> Nedware says, and <laughs> the where? pots and pans. Nedware. <laughs> That's Ariel's technique. Oh, Ariel goodness. will leave a pot in a pan, okay? She'll do the other stuff, though. Mm. With that pot and pan? I say both of y'all, okay? Well, at least we're consistent. Consistency matters, doesn't it? Well, how do we get on this topic? I read about this one lady. She, her daughter wouldn't wash the dishes, right? She was in high school, the daughter. So the mother, she got one cup, a plate, a fork, a spoon, and a knife, and a glass. And put the girl's name on it. And put, a, got a separate cabinet that says, this is the only cabinet you're allowed to go into. Hmm, sounds like a good idea. And she says, the mom, but there's no dishes in here. She's there's not they're, they're yours right there in the sink. But they're dirty. Exactly. Your dishes are right here. That's all I know. And the mother refused to let her daughter touch any dish other than the ones that were assigned to her. That was pretty strange, huh? Mm. Yes, dear. All the chores your mom made you do, Bill. Man, I'm Bertha shocked. says she's had her dishwasher for 10 years and she's only used it about 10 times. That's like my mother. She she don't your use her dishwasher. Your mother stores stuff in hers. She didn't put the clean dishes in there. So there's nothing on her countertops. It's a good idea, actually. All right, y'all, we're coming closer to finishing up another. This has been a really interesting discussion. <laughs> we went from books to um, dishes, all kind of stuff, to soda drinking, to diabetes, all kind of stuff, <laughs> to exercise equipment that doubles as. Coat hanger. Clothes racks. Mm. 
DFC says I wash and put it through the dishwasher. So DFC, you you want those real old. You did a double thing, huh? Hi, Kathy Tyler. They're like <laughs> Kathy's probably like, y'all talking about what dishes? Oh, I'm out of here. Kathy Tyler says. My kid gets a cup every time she gets a drink. I'll have five cups in the sink when I come home from work. So I understand that. Kathy, I remember. Now, if you say something about it, your daughter probably says, uh-uh. I remember time my mother said, Billy did, he messed up every dish in the, in the, in the cabinet. But I only did about maybe three or four things. But me being who I am, I said, no, I didn't. My mother turned to me and guess what she said? She said, oh. So you call, <laughs> you calling me a lie? Mm. You know, that was the end after that. It was like, you can't, once your parents say that, there's no recovery for it. No, there isn't. This, only destruction can follow when that sentence comes out, okay? Because <laughs> ah. if you say, yes, I said it, you're going to get got. If you're going to say, no, I didn't say it, then you call her a lie of saying that you would call her a lie. So, okay. You know how it works. Joanne says, I am the dishwasher at my house and at, and at work, I am the dishwasher. I go up the floor, I go up on the floors to get the dirty dishes. So you, your hands are always in water, huh? That's why my hands are so dry because I, you know, I do a lot of cleaning. Me too. My hands look at all I have is bones. I don't have skin on my Y'all see how Bill's hands look. Y'all said he has nice hands because he don't do any work. My hand, look how my hand look. I came and straighten my fingers, okay? Mm. <laughs> 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 oh, Kathleen, I'm coming to your house. She says, I'm eating potato soup with broccoli and Ooh, mushrooms in it. Ooh, Kathleen. Oh, Germany. MG, so good. So your boyfriend, My boyfriend made it? is an awesome cook. Yes, that's a good idea. Rinse exactly. The, rinse Network. The dishes. Network says the person that gave this video a thumbs down probably has a sink full of dishes. <laughs> they do. Uh, I just like everything to be clean, like before we go to sleep, because I don't want to wake up. I don't know if anyone else is like that too. You don't want to wake up and have dishes like just in the sink, like a dirty kitchen. Oh, my mother was extreme. Let me tell you something. Hmm. Look how extreme she was. So I got to where I am today. <laughs> Looking back at Tracy, look back at me. <laughs> How extreme. I remember one time look, I didn't wash the dishes. Look, this and my mother a... bagged them all up and put them on my bed. <laughs> I was and, like. And so that didn't work. So now yeah, what? Yeah, it did too. How does it work? Because I couldn't go to sleep. But it didn't work? It did. It worked that day. About, I'm talking about in 2021. <laughs> I, I'm making up all them times. <laughs> it worked that day because. Oh, boy. I, I wish I would have took them dishes off and put them on the floor. That is a colorful card right there. I would have got beat right out of the bed. The stuff that we experienced as kids, they nowadays they call that child abuse. Back then, it was just basic child rearing. Okay, so I'm going to put some of this on here. We're almost done, babe. You couldn't it's even done. look at I my mother I can't wait to wrong. do these little owls right here, though. How many times, how many of your mother said something to you? Look at this. And you knew you had to keep your eyes straight on her. If you even look sideways, that's it. It's Thanks, so Marlene. I'm glad you like the card. Just line the casket. This little darling right here. Call it a day. These little ones. I love that owl, Isn't Tracy. that the cutest? This was an extra one that you printed out. I'm I sure. love that name. Bobby Joe made this by hand. Look at the Bobby Joe's that. little image. That is so cute. <laughs> Bobby Joe said, Bobby Joe, is this your first time on our channel? She said, You guys are hilarious. Welcome, Bobby Joe. Wait a minute, my stuff keeps freezing up here. I got to clear this out. You see that? That's what comes off of it. 
That is a nice card, Grace. Thank you, babe. Bob Joe says, yep, this is the first time. Oh, well, welcome, Bobby Joe. We're we we like to laugh a lot on our channel, Bobby Joe. So forgive us in advance. This is going to give it a little bit more dimension. Now, if you happen to get a bubble in it, just take a little pin and just pop it, you know, and that'll, that'll do it. Just in case, you know, like if you ever have, but I don't really... Yeah, I don't see anything. Not much. Just some tiny little bubbles. I wouldn't worry about those. But just in case you happen to use these and it has a bubble in it. Yeah, don't worry about it. You're going to have one that? person going to say, look at these tiny little bubbles. <laughs> It'll be all right if she didn't have these tiny little bubbles. But don't worry about that person, Bobby Joe. <laughs> Deb C said, you'll love it here, Bobby Joe. Either that or she'll run for the hills. <laughs> Kathleen German said, 25 minutes later, I do the dishes too. Mm. I'm just messing with you, Kathleen. <laughs> you trying, what you trying to say? <laughs> oh, Bobby Joe, here's the schedule. Our, usually now, Bobby Right, Joe, we're not usually on on Saturdays. Yeah, this but this was nice. This was fun. Usually we're on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 12 noon Eastern Standard Time. But every so often we'll make an announcement. Like yesterday we had a stamp set release, so we released it. And uh, Tracy didn't finish up everything that she wanted to do right. in like yesterday's extra live. So she came on today to kind of finish it up. Maybe once or twice a month possible. we'll do a, a midnight crafting. I always call it Midnight Madness. It's not called that. <laughs> Mindless crafting at midnight. That's what we do. Yes. It got harder because during the pandemic, we had nowhere to go. We, <laughs> we always stayed in our, our, our pajamas. So we said, since we got them on anyway, we might as well go to our own party. We start doing these Mindless Crafting at Midnights. Yeah, so we have a fun bunch. We We have a good time on here. Not everyone likes our style, but that's okay. There's thousands of other channels on here. But uh, we laugh. Sometimes we cry. I mean, we get some good belly laughs in. I mean, just all out laughing. Oh, she said, I'm going to, she said, I'm retiring soon. So we'll be able to do these. Nice. So what do you do right now, Bobby Joe? Um, Bobby Joe, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. So subscribe to our channel. Joanne Gilbertson says, my brother does dishes at their house. He has a TV in the kitchen. You know what? Maybe watching I'll, TV. If I put the TV up over the sink, maybe I'll watch the dishes. <laughs> what do you think? Now, I've, have, I've been too busy with the remote control. What a... Marcia said, how do you size the Digi stamps? Marcia, it's in that video series. When you watch the video series, I show you how to manipulate. Yes, there's four videos in that in that series. It's a playlist that shows you how to download and manipulate the um the images. Right. It's super easy. Yeah, because so I can yeah. make these like extremely small if I wanted to, like really, really tiny, or I can make them real big. She can make scenes, uh, all kind of stuff. So that's just a little bit smaller than that. And this one is actually looks like it's just about the same size, but look at let me show you this one. Oh, this one right here. See how, look at the difference. So you can do it whichever size you like. And these little darlings right here, I can't wait to do something with those. So those I'll more than likely do these in a um, video tutorial. Oh, yes, that's right. Noreen, you're right. We sing on here, too. Right. Here's an example right here where you can 
you know. Oh yes, this is an example of how you take digital stamps and you layer them. Right, so these are multiple images, but you can take them and resize it and make this this straw, I could have made it big as the whole picture. Right, you can put it behind stuff. Reverse, uh, turn it upside down, uh, rotate them, all kind of stuff. Then once you group it to get, once you get it the way you like, you can group them all together and resize that entire image and just save them as a file. So later on, if you need to make a quick card, you have all these images that you and, and scenes that, that you've already put together. <laughs> loaded, yeah. loaded Coco. Dot com. You're funny. She said, who, Hi, gave, Rebel. who gave a thumbs down? They definitely You're have fired. a sink full of dishes. Okay. Hi, Rebel. Rebel says, subscribe and rang the bell. Well, Cynthia, it's going to be very difficult to do it from your phone because in order to do it, they, you have to use some sort of editor. If you watch right. the videos on, on the playlist, I, I put the link earlier. Uh, you'll be able to see what I'm talking about. I have a Mac, so I use Word. Bill has no, you use a, Pages. I mean, I use Pages, right? Bill has a. Um, I have a Mac too. iMac. Yeah, he has an iMac, but you use. I you use, use several different things. I use Libre Pages. I'm um, excuse me, Libre Office, which is like Open Office. It's free, but it's easy. Some people use Microsoft Word. Some people use Google Docs. Some people use Paint. The main thing is you, you need some kind of editor to pull those things into in order to manipulate them. Some people try to just download them right from the email and think they're going to start. You can't do it because you don't have anything to Yeah, you have to have to a program to with. manipulate. So there's several pro. You probably have that program on your computer. When you download it, imagine it's like going to the to the to the <laughs> to the gas station getting a bunch of gas and wondering why you can't drive down the street because you don't have a car. You know, you have to have some kind of construct to use that thing in to manipulate the images. Oh, Vanessa says she has an HP and uh, HP printer. She says, I resize Digi from my printer program. Right, but, okay, good. Right, that's fantastic. But nice. you're using a program. Mm -hmm. See, she is using some kind of construct. That's fantastic. <laughs> Look, speaking of thumbs, don't forget. I, I saw y'all talking about the person who, who gave the thumbs down has a, di a sink full of dishes, and they don't like laughing. <laughs> yes, and they don't wire like wire hangers, and they don't like hearing Bill talk. No, oh. we got some newcomers. I had a person told me <laughs> you had several I am people unsubscribing because you had several people. I Bill. can't. Stand to hear your husband talk so as much as he talks. How can you stand <laughs> being in the same house with him? I would lose my mind and just run down the street, mm. beat myself in the face if I had to stay in the house with your husband. Oh, yes. Join us on Facebook, too, if you want. You can join us on Facebook. Yes. So here's all the cards that I created. Uh, let's see. Where is that? Oh, here's the out. This one is drying, but I'm I'm gonna leave it right here. Yeah, Bobby Joe likes open office. Isn't open office wonderful? Bobby yeah, Joe? I've done some stuff. Bill showed me open office. I was like, that was easy. Once you figure it out, you're gonna be like, oh my goodness. And some people use it with their cricket too. So we have several people that do that. <laughs> Linda, you <laughs> Linda, stop calling people Scrooges. I know they just don't. No, like, you don't. They don't you like to do laugh it. or sing, or they just don't like to be happy. Too much laughter going on in the world today. We just like to love on people. That's all. And our our crafty family loves to love on people. That's what what that's what it's all about. We like getting together, and I guess the room full of energy is just too much. Too much happiness going on, y'all. I need to come up sometime by next week. I'm going to have another free digital image. Yeah, because we got so, images that don't make it to the stamp set, so we're going to put some freebies. we we'll put something up. Come up with another freebie on the website for y'all. Bobby Joe, my mom used to say that all the time, too. Mom, she says, my mom always said, if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything. 
I mean, really, some people could just leave in silence. It's okay. You don't have to tell me that you're unsubscribing. Just go ahead and unsubscribe. But they got to tell me about it. Well, she said that you had to just look at it. She had to shake your head. I remember the time I said it. She said, you don't have nothing to say about anybody else saying anything. I said something like, well, Mama, if I did that, I'd never talk. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all couldn't even make a casual statement like that. That's just how it sounds. I would never talk again. Oh, I need to put something in the eyes there. The eyes have to have something on them. I guess I'm her perspective was you keep talking now, you won't be, you definitely won't be talking. Well, Bill, well, good thing you didn't listen to mama, huh? Because you be I talking. Didn't listen. You be talking. I'm making up for all those years. Exactly. <laughs> oh, let's put a little bit of stickles right around here, just on the edges, right? Give it some glittery stuff. See, this is where you get to going back on your cards, and now you're just doing more stuff. Thanks, Bobby Joe. Oh, uh, <laughs> I like Karen. <laughs> she said, "We're not an airport. You don't need to announce your departure." <laughs> I love that way. <sighs> that is too much. Some people can't just don't like people being happy, I guess. I don't know. Just let me be me. I gotta be me. Wasn't there a song called I Gotta Be it Me? It was. I gotta be me. Here, Rebel, you can also look for us. On, go to the Minus Crafting Group on Facebook. You're gonna be when you finally get there, you'll be confronted with three questions. Make sure you answer those questions so you won't get in. But you'll love that Minus Crafting Group. Yes, I've been so inspired. Just looking it's like at family. All of your creations. There's some people here that have some serious skill. Believe me, or they do something in a way that I can't. I never would have thought to do it like that, but when I saw it, I said, ooh. That's, see, this is why you say just one more thing. Just one more thing. Bobby Jones, she says she's doing a collaboration tomorrow. Christmas cards, but don't hurt me. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. You, when the wonderful thing about our group is that everybody's encouraging. We don't do thumbs down. We don't leave hateful messages. We encourage and we inspire and we uplift. Bobby Joe, we still have a Christmas tree up, okay? So you know we're not going to say that about you doing Christmas cards. If you want to do Christmas cards after Christmas, then you go ahead and do it. Do that. Whatever makes you happy. Hi. Little, little ten cedar. Is that like little ten? Little ten cedar, like ten cedar, babe. I like oh, that. Oh, oh, I thought it was like ten Miss, Tennessee cedar, like a tree or something. She said, "I love owls." Me too. We're doing good, little ten cedar. Is this your first time here? No, I think she was here. She was here yesterday. Oh, was she? You do you. That's what makes Bye, us so Leanne. wonderful. We're brought together by crafting and we can appreciate each other's differences. Everyone is unique. Unique. It's okay to be different. That's the one thing I love about this group. This is one area when we focus on that crafting thing, our, everyone's love for crafting, and we, we're not worried about race, we're not worried about religion, we're not worried about political persuasion, none of that. We don't care. Right now, the only thing we have, we're doing, we're, we're, we're unifying with that crafting and commonality that we all have. Crafting and just respect for one of for each other, basically. And when you look, it's just like y'all a family. Because when y'all exactly come on, I mean, like, it's like, I've never met Karen, but I feel like I know I Karen. I feel like I know Karen Hardham <laughs> so thoroughly. Vicky just assumes better than it. better than people I've I've known like in person and met in person and been friends with. I feel like y'all have been friends for years. I mean, I could go right down the line. Yep. 
you have no idea, and I say this all the time, you have no idea how many times we talk about different people and personalities in this group when we're not even on the live at all. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just like you were a neighbor who was right. lived down the street or something. Susan, she's been following us for years. You know, it's like we know, like, Sonya Creole just came on recently. I feel like I've been doing Sonya forever. I know Sonya just jumped right in, didn't she? <laughs> Jump, Sonya was. Your girl Sonya Trey came in with them. a with the um. Right, your girl Trey came in with a. Sonya came in like I am here. They just okay? cartwheeled. I might as well deal with. It. That's how Sonya Creole came in. She came in doing a a backflip, cartwheel with a triple triple sum of somersault. <laughs> Michelle Trito Trito, who's going through so much right now, we absolutely love Michelle. Michelle's going through a lot, but she's coming on to tune in. So, yeah, if we want to laugh, we laugh. If we want to use too much art glitter glue, <laughs> we use too much art glitter glue, right? <laughs> if we want to cut lines in our crafts that are crooked, it's okay. <sighs> oh, my goodness. Yeah. If we want to talk about food and dinner and Bill's diabetes, then by exactly. God, let's go ahead and talk about it. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, Vicky. Vicky said, I tell people about you guys a lot. <laughs> they probably June like, Cole. Oh, on earth are these people? June Cole says, love you guys. Glad I found your channel. God oh, bless. So glad you found us, too. Well, y'all, this has been fun. How long we been on, babe? I don't know. I got to start doing the... Uh, so we already got leftover macaroni and cheese. So we got to do something. Kathy Jackson says, Tracy, uh -huh. I'm featuring your recording birthday card tutorial on Swapbot this week. I know you'll get new subscribers from that wonderful crafty group. Oh, thank you. Swapbot? What is Swapbot, Kathy? Swap Look, swap bot, swap bot, swat, swap bot. We can't even say it. I know. Swap bot. <laughs> Try we saying, saying that ten but what did it say? Try saying that two to ten times. I was on swap bot, swap bot. Oh, Gigi's junk journal time. She said, "I love you guys too." What the world needs now is love sweet love that's what they need it's the only thing that there's just too little love that there's just thanks babe because i forgot the words <laughs> that there's just too little love what the world needs now is love, sweet love. Now listen to this line. No, not just for some, Ooh. but for everyone. Everyone. There you go. All right. <laughs> that being said. With that being it's said. Been a pleasure. Um look, Sonia's like, did we all <laughs> did we all thumbs thumbs us up, right? Did we <laughs> thumbs us up? Cr crowd out the thumbs down, people. Because we know we're gonna get some. It's just it's just the way it is. <sighs> Y'all said sang. <laughs> sang. Are you ready? Yeah. All right, guys. It's been real. It's been fun. And in, it, and in this case, it actually has it's been, been real, real fun. fun. It sure has. Aw, oh, thank you. That's my singing librarian voice. That's my, if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. That's my story time voice. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy mm. and you know it. Bill, I 
forgot the words to the happy and you know it song. Man, well, make up song. Then your friends will surely show it. <laughs> Look, clap, clap. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hand. <laughs> Bill, <laughs> you, Bill sing it. He's changing it to a gospel song. No, because I couldn't, no, remember, right. I couldn't remember how it went either. So, hey. If you're crafty and you know it, get your scissors. If you're crafty and you know it, get your mm -hmm. glitter. If you're crafty and you know it, then your cards will surely show it. If you're crafty and you know it, get your scissors. Get your scissors. All right, now, look, look, look. little Vanessa, ten. Vanessa, Vanessa talking about stop your feet. To... Vanessa, you're just going all the Vanessa getting happy now. Oh, y'all are funny. Little ten time more time we all building tomorrow, girl. Y'all are too funny. We were on how many times we've been on this week? Four, right? Yeah, four. Y'all, yeah. y'all, we come on tomorrow. Y'all be like, if you come on this thing one more time this week. Now it's time to say goodbye to all our company. M I C. See you real soon. K E Y. M O U S E. There you go. All right, guys. Now we we're out of here <laughs> singing Mickey Mouse. We're gone, okay? y'all. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Take care, y'all.